Ham Radio 2.0, episode 96, part 3. This is an interview with Bridgecom, who I shared a booth with at Dayton Hamvention 2017. Hi. Once again, I prove how short I am. Because, <laughs> like, five people have come up to me today and tell me, you look taller on camera. I'm like, get out of here. It's because you're always sitting behind a desk. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what I told them, yeah. So, all right, Tim. Tell us uh, Tell us about, we've got four, four, four repeaters. repeaters. Yep. Four repeaters set up at Dayton Ham Vincent 2017. Go ahead and tell us about your setup here. Uh, we have uh, three linked repeaters here. We have a 220. Uh, 50V and 40U, and for those of you that may not know the model numbers, uh, 220 megahertz, 1.25 yep. meter. Yep. 50V is VHF or two meter, and then the uh, 440 40U. Why is it 50V? Because that sounds like six meters to me. It does. I know. <laughs> so 50 because it's 50 watts. Oh, okay. And 50 it's VHF. Watts. Okay. Remember, well, these technically guys six meters is VHF. Yeah, technically. And technically, 220 is as well. Yeah, that's true. All, yeah, we 220 is VHF. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Okay. So all right, all we right. can go down that rabbit hole another day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we have the more important thing is we have the three of them linked uh, okay. with the ARNS. That's these three boxes up here on top. Okay. Uh, ARNS is Amateur Radio Networking System. Yep. So if, hey, Daniel, key up that radio. That, nope, nope. That one, yes. Perfect. This is the system we, we talked about at Green Country. Yes, yes. yes. So if he, if Daniel keys up that radio, yep. watch the lights here. Okay. Gee, yeah, it's got to be on. Yep. <laughs> yep. Technical difficulty. Turn it on. <laughs> on switch. There we go. So okay. when Daniel keys up that radio, you see how it keys up all, all three, three of the repeaters. Yeah. yeah okay. So that's the is linking he, from the top. Is he keying into this, this, this connected? Well, that is would be like a link radio. Like a remote base. Could be. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. So that is ARNS, Amateur Radio Networking System. Okay. Radio over IP gateways here on top. Yep. Linking all three together. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Next, we have the 220 D Star. 220 D Star. Yep. Only one radio in the world that works with 220 D Star. Yes. But we all that's know what cool that is. Though. But it's <laughs> yeah. cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. Though. So the f the folks next door to us here at Northwest Digital were yes. nice enough, yeah, nice, here. right? Okay. Nice enough to work with us, yes. and we've created a 220 D Star kit. Okay. So it's everything you need a box. Okay. To do 220 D Star connected to a BCR repeater. So okay. not only will it work on the 220, uh -huh. but it'll also work on the 50V and the 40U. So you could do 2 meter, you could do 440, or you could do 220. Any one of the three okay. in dual mode. 220. Dual mode as in D-star and analog. D-star okay. and analog, that's okay. right. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. Okay, good. Uh, moving down the rack, we have, this is a uh, the BCR 440-250. Uh, so that's a 440 duplexer. Okay. 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 Running a max of 250 watts, or could run up to 250 watts. Okay. 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 Um, good specs on it. Ignore the BCR repeater here. That's not actually what it is. <laughs> okay. It's just a good place to stick it. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, gotcha. And then down here we have the the two meter version, which oh, okay. is 144 250. Again, 250 watt duplexer. Okay. okay. For two meter. Good. Uh, so 440 so duplexer and two meter duplexer. You bet. You have a 220 duplexer, I know. It's sitting over there it's on the table. There. Okay. okay. And I've also got the mobile style that goes on the internal of the okay. uh, 440 repeater. Okay. 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 Sitting over okay. there as well. Awesome. So brought okay. a bunch of little stuff to play with and toys. Okay. and. So if someone wanted to talk on this at the show here, would they just key up 444.1? Uh, we'd probably give them the frequency for either 2 meter or 440 that we got okay. programmed in there. Okay. And they could, yeah. They can talk on either one. They can play with it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And okay. everything's on, you know, dummy load here. So there's oh, it's all, it's all on dummy load. It's okay. all on dummy load. So it you, probably covers this building, though. Yeah, or at least... Yeah. Yeah, in the in the general yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. Fifty okay. foot radius, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably so. So probably so. Give or take. Okay, good. So, All right. good deal. This is cool setup. I I, I wish you. <laughs> You should bring this to every show. I should. <laughs> you know, so, unfortunately, yeah. uh, United and Delta and all those airlines, oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, they are very proud of their, don't, their cost. Don't fly United. Yeah, I yeah mean, right. Yeah, you don't want to get beat up. So. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, but right. otherwise, I'd love to. Yeah. Because okay. so, cool, it is man. a fun setup. All right, cool. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, you, you bet. bet. Thanks for letting me share your booth with you this you week bet. as well. Thanks so, for having me. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.